Okay, testing. Uh, my microphone is hopefully fixed now. I can do microphone things. Um, that's weird. Why is it making background noise? No, it's not. Oh well. Surely nothing is out of the ordinary or bad about it. Maybe I should turn it down a bit. So today we are going to be doing a thing I like to call, um, Man, was that too quiet? Now we're gonna be doing a thing I like to call, uh, playing a, a game called Kerbal Space Program. 
On the agenda today, I want to get exploring this, um, the moon whitetail a bit more. I want to get a, uh, unmanned lander there to get some science. Because we've done a whole lot of stuff with Roe. Look at this place. Look, oh wow, I forgot how interesting this looked. This is a place and a half. We have to go here. We've already been here a bunch. Uh, we already have two relays. We don't need two relays. Which basalt number are we on? Let me open my spreadsheet of doom real quick. Um, the next basalt mission will be basalt five. That's what number we're on. We've got any cool things in here. Uh, place a relay satellite in orbit around. Okay, that's what's gonna do anyways. Um, a lot of options actually. The resolution option to treat? Sure, I'll do that. we will gonna fly my first airplane. Uh, nope, I don't care. Is that airplanes right now? Dance a it. Isn't that the one place super far away? How am I gonna get that over there? Active. Uh, okay, wait. Vehicular assembly building. Oh, it's staticking a bit? Oh no. That's a... That's a thing I just tried to fix and I thought I fixed it. Um... Well, I don't know how to fix it. So we're just gonna maybe I should put on another filter. Uh, maybe I should try a I already have noise suppression and noise gates. What else could I do? Uh My mic is using a very difficult to explain setup, but right now the only visual filters I have on it are noise suppression and noise gates. I guess I could try adding them there. I don't think a limiter is going to help, is it? Um, it's, it's connected into an XLR to USB converter so it can interface directly with my computer. And that's the general gist of it. I guess I could try to double check with connections. Make sure that nothing's too loose. I'll give that a go real quick. It's probe. It's gonna be a polar satellite around white tail. It's gonna have do I have the cool solar panels yet? I don't. Do I have any science points? Check on its own. I don't think I have any science to do anything anyways. 
Oh, is it that? Oh, okay. Let me see what I can do about it then. Uh, I'll do like a pause, I guess. To see if I can fix it. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three.
Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing the microphone, testing the microphone. I think it is much better now. I did a lot of crazy shenanigans to get this to work. Uh, let me see if I can make this work a bit better. Because uh, it's not loud enough right now. Mass audio properties. All right, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Uh, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. Uh, I should... I should well, resume the stream and resume building this thing. Because this is... So far I've placed two parts and that's the only thing I've done in the past 30 minutes during the stream. This awful audio setup, this awful audio stuff, has consumed so much of my stream time so far. That's... it's incredible. I'm going to assume that's going to be enough range for that far out. Uh, right there. Okay. This is gonna be it's gonna be a little scanner and a relay. So I have the capabilities of both a scanner and a relay. Because then it's gonna got it's gonna it's gonna have all this scanning technologies. Um Respectful my own visual resource. Okay. Now we use altimetry. We're done with this radar altimeter. Then bing bing boom, we have our little machine. Let's see if we can put some solar panels on this in a way that looks good. So that we have these various technologies to put on our... Will this go on the top? No, it has to be radially attached. That's kind of silly. And offset it like that, I guess, to make it look better. But I think that actually looks worse. Uh, sure. Go with this. It looks stylish or something. Now, what kind of things should I have? Oh, I have airlocks now. That's interesting. Not for this mission, of course, but... It means I can put people in very small cans and they'll deal with it. We're going to need a... Do I have... I don't have loaders yet. That'd be cool. I have a Bond Voyage controller. Do I have rover wheels? I 
don't have both of those, but I do have a camera, and I wanted the camera. Add some more of these. Because why not? That was a hectic 20 minutes. I frantically tried literally everything I could to make this terrible audio setup work. Uh, I really should do better testing later. Not now. Later. <laughs> How big is that? Um, we have all we need, I'm pretty sure. I want to put on more batteries though. I have to operate at least a little bit in the nighttime. Decoupler. Payload. Ah, uh, nope. Alright, now I just gotta bring that to orbit, I'm thinking, and it'll, it'll work good. Swivel, because those are the engines that are doing most of the heavy lifting for me right now. Do I have fuel lines? I don't have fuel lines. I am contemplating getting fuel lines. That would have been so amazing for my launchers. most gorgeous rocket you ever did see. <laughs> uh, let's do the things I wanted to do. Uh, yes it will. Probably. Um, sure. I'll cheap out on this one just for now. They don't have unlimited funds. I need to save up for a good man program. The salt five. Got to launch to white tail polar orbits, um, and then we'll, we'll be done with that mission. Maybe I should make this louder. Hold on. Uh, advanced audio properties. I'll fit it like. Put this to. That much. That much. Yeah, that's good. That's workable. That's better. Um, I'm terribly sorry for all the strife and agony that this awful audio stuff has caused everyone, including me. I've been caused a lot of strife and agony. Maneuver tool? Do I not have the maneuver tool available? Oh. I don't, I don't know what they mean. I mean the, uh, fancy maneuver tool. Not the normal maneuver notes. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to launch this. Oh, I forgot. I have to wait. Sooner or later, I'm thinking of actually increasing the delay to 90 days, because this is a big system. Interplanetary takes a long time. Like, this thing over here, it's still over here. I wish I've done another launch since then. It's not gotten far. That's how much 45 days works. Uh, we need... Ooh, we're gonna need longer periods of time between our launches. We're gonna make this a comfortable experience while also taking advantage of every single launch window, launch opportunity. So, that's my thinking. But not yet though, maybe after we start getting some manned lunar stuff. But I don't want it to, because I don't want to have to miss any launch opportunities, unless I get really lazy, or if I just don't care about any of the stuff in this system, or if I run out of cash. 
It was the only times in which I ever wanted to time warp through Kerbal Alarm Clock launch opportunities. Fleet on close, close alarm, fleet and close. Uh, fleet facility. And now we're gonna launch the Basalt 5. A polar relay scanner machine satellite thing. Warp to sunrise. And then we can launch this thing. I have been trying to work out how to reduce this loading time uh, when, when we're loading a thing on the pad. Uh, I don't think I can unless I uninstall a lot of mods. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to uninstall mods. Who would ever do that? Uninstalling mods is for dweebs. Reminds me, I, I wanted to mess up these, some settings real quick. Uh, I want to try this. Makes it more stylish, makes it so I can see more of the stuff in the middle of the screen. Um, I, then difficulty options, I wanted to add a curl force limits, which isn't going to matter for now. It's an unmanned mission. Bam. Um, it's not a lot of thrust. I swear I need this to have been enough thrust. Is that loud? I think that's a bit loud. Let me see if I can do a little bit of thing tweaking. There we go. That should be goodish. Uh, we're not going off. I very fast. I think we should have put on SRBs. I think this wasn't a very expensive mission. Whoop, nope, 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 nope. Oh. Yeah, um. Yeah. Got fins too. Oh boy. Uh, okay. That's a, that's a simple fix. That's a simple fix. We also maybe retrograde a little bit. Maybe, maybe we can reduce our velocity. Maybe recover a single part. Alright, let's try a bit of. Ooh. Uh, nope, we do not get to, oh, huh? Oh, okay. Congratulations, we get to recover one pro court and two solar panels. That's the most amazing machine ever. Um, alright. This is the microphone setup that works. So I don't want to touch it any. But also I'm pretty sure there's some mild buzzing noise. That I might need to fix out at some point. But at least it wasn't... At least it wasn't what it was like back then. Uh... Those cool contracts. Go and fly an airplane. Have a victim. Have wings. Have an air breathing engine only. That's amazing. Uh, I guess I could go to that. I don't need. I do not need the money though. Um, so I won't. I'm gonna try to launch another one of those, but with fins. That's right, you heard me, fins. 
And then we're also going to do a bit of this. We need pins, obviously. I'm also going to replace these with big old SRVs. Those give me more thrust, don't they? Like, yeah, yeah, look at that. That's, that's tons more thrust. Even more delta D. I think it's even cheaper, too. Why don't I do that in the first place? I don't know. I'm not smart. Uh, let's do a bit of this. Need some more control in the atmosphere now that we don't have those liquid fuel boosters. Assault 5. Actually, it is the Assault 6 now. Uh, save launch leave. Engine should also scan Tuft 2 in case we need to do some airplane related biome hopping for science stealing and stuff. Go to tracking station. Hope until the pad is reconditioned. How far away is that one now? See, look, it's so far away. That's not even far away though. That's really close. I don't know why I said far away. Um, if I'm going to have only 45 days between every launch, this isn't going to get anywhere. I have to wait like ages to get any interplanetary stuff done. Maybe I should let go of this whole requirements to have all my launches. Like all my launches be on the window. Maybe that would help. And I just have the 45 days thing for like rescue missions and stuff. I think I should do that. I really like that playstyle of launching once every 45 days, no more, no less. But ultimately, it's going to get really annoying and bad later. You should just start being satisfied with not launching every 45 days. Hopefully we can get this thing to orbit and even to Whitetail if we try really hard. My microphone cord is tingled. I don't know how to fix this without unplugging it. There was something really cool, like um, this uh, during the microphone testing and failing and stuff. Uh, there was a one of those little ultralight trikes that flew over my house. It was very interesting. Uh, I forgot. This uh, doesn't you put any separators on this. It's just gonna have to twist around a bit. Oh, this is already a really bad angle, isn't it? Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, push that button. Uh. Why you can do this? Why you can? Okay, that time that was just pilot error. I'm reverting to launch in that one. I don't I don't feel any remorse for doing that. I'm not wasting more taxpayer dollars on this one single unambitious satellite. I don't want to have to be trying to launch the satellite for the next hour of the stream too, because we've done literally nothing else this stream. Just go straight up, you know. separate those? Yes, we can. Ooh. Next time we're getting separated motors. That was scary. Where is it? I remember correctly, the atmosphere stops at like, what, 60-something kilometers? I forgot. Uh, but we need to get above there, obviously. Get the space. Do that, uh... I'm gonna try for an orbit of, like, 80, I guess. 
need a couple of that. I don't trust it. We have German aerospace installed. We'll wait until 50 kilometers above Singapore. Uh, let's just attach this right, right now. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, we're in space now. Sends the antenna. Make it like a bit of a orbit going here, because we got to do that. Oops. Here we go. We have the Basalt 6. Amazing white tail scanning satellites, complete with a relay antenna as well. We can do some white tail based missions. So we're going a bit that way. Maybe we should go a bit this way. I think actually white tail is on an incline, is it? No, it's not. Okay, interesting. So I guess probably shouldn't matter that much. We're gonna time- oops, nope, uh, oops, okay. This is why we don't time warp. <laughs> okay, that's unorbit. Uh, okay. We get, oops, uh, is Ro gonna be in the way here? Uh, yeah. Ooh, it is. Ugh. That's annoying. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Focus view. Going to get. Ugh. We think we need to get between. We need to be between 70 and 250 kilometers in altitude above the surface when we do this. That's going to be a, a good enough altitude. Will be a good enough. Yeah, that's going to be good enough inclination too. Uh, what's the next maneuver? I'm pretty sure we'll have enough to capture, right? Point towards the node. Time warp so that we are pointing towards the node. And warp some more so we wait until it's a good time to start the burn. And so now let's go. Oh, that's taking up a lot of battery. Luckily, I brought all these solar panels. My main limiter here is technology. And the fact that I'm bad at this game. <laughs> Let's We'll be able to capture it. That looks capturable, I'm thinking. I forgot how much you typically would need to capture around a body as big as white tail. Because remember correctly, this is basically the Mun, but with cooler looking craters. Oh, what's what happened there? What did you do? Okay. Uh Wow, okay. I think we need to go retrograde. Right? 
Uh, no, we don't. We need to go this way. This way? Question mark? Yeah, okay. I know what I'm doing. I've played this game before. Uh, this way. This way. Okay. That's workable. We can work with that. Kind of capture. Oh yeah, we're good. We're greats. We're doing just fine. Whoa. Uh, here we are. Right there. I think it's time we can start the scans. And we do have enough electric capacity, right? Uh, no, we don't. Ah, that's fine. It just means it goes by slower. Time up fixes everything. Okay, we want about 150 by 150. Doesn't need to be too accurate. I think that's just about where the best place to be is. These kind of things. These uh, scans have Oops. Okay. Warp to next maneuver. Hope we are out of electricity. That can be bad. Your city, a bad thing. Okay, so we do have like the drop, the tiniest drop left, so we can just hit stop scan for now. We gain electricity. Finish our burn. That we got a satellite. In orbit around Whitetail. That's a first. Uh, can I get a cool screenshot out of this? I uh, appreciate the screenshot shortcut. Hope I figure out where the screenshot folder is. Anyways, we also have a camera. Use this to look. Oops. Use to look over here at this strange planet moon yep that looks like a moon if I can maneuver it so I can get a shot of both yeah that's not gonna happen right now Uh, let's restart the scan and just chill. We're going to time warp until we have that kind of map we want. That's probably enough. Go check scan sat. It says we have a map of row. It's not the one I want. White tail. Not quite, but we do have some interesting biome mapping over here. Whoa, what's what happened here? Whoa. Ejecta. What happened there? What did we do? Well, we can't see it right now. Oh, that's that one. Oh, that's a big crater. A big recent crater. Look at all the ejecta there. Um, whoa, that goes all the way over here. Jeez, I want to land there. I want to land there. That's a place I want to land. 
Unfortunately, this is not designed to be a lander, nor would I ever dream of this being a lander, because it doesn't have any science on it. What does the map look like now? Resource? A map type. Visual. It's kind of cool. Altimetry. Altimetry is all done. Biome. That's all sorts of cool named basins. I'm assuming these are all like references to something because like Autumn Basin, Gurnian Basin, Easter Basin. There's probably some sort of scheme to that that I'm too uncultured to know about. There are huge craters and stuff. This is such a cool place. I want to land there. That's the place I want to land. It's this cool moon with the uh, really weird looking craters. Uh, anyways, we gotta go back to the tracking station. I wanna get an unmanned lantern there by this stream. Might even get a manned mission there too. But that's a bit of a stretch, because those take a lot more planning, a lot more redundancy. Our Dolomite 2B is still right there. Mission Control. What do you want me to do on mission control? Uh, I'm gonna plant a flag around below. How would I do that? Uh, destinations in back. This should be easy. I have to need to want to do include ferry missions. Not missions, uh, not. I currently don't have a very strong man's program right now. How do you get all the good science? Fortunately, I have life support mods, means I need to take some things seriously sometimes, occasionally. On rare occasion. <sighs> I wish I had pirouette cookies right about now. It's a cheap mission, too. And I did have some margin left over. Mostly the same thing for. Uh, or maybe even Montiac. Yeah, I'm not going to try it right now. I do want to get an animation. Actually, do we, do we get some science from that? Uh, do we have some science left over for unlocking some cool technologies? Because I have. I'm at a stagnation point in the tech tree where I need more tech to do more cool things because I'm not good at the game. But I also don't have enough science. Yeah, look at that. Not enough. I'm hoping, though, that with my technology and with a bunch of money putting down the drain, I can get some cool white tail science experiments. If we can get some cool stuff going on here. Or them. Angle them like that. So it's better at sun high. What kind of ground equipment do we have? Uh, this won't be good enough because I need engines anyways. The Delta B map said this was a bit like the Mun. I should just pretend it's the Mun and it'll work, right? Really. Oh, we do have. I have rover wheels? Oh, no way. 
Hold on. Hold on. I have some... I have some shenanigans. Some shenanigans. Hearing themselves within my brain. Don't save. Go to the... Peace plane hangar. We're gonna make a Bon Voyage rover. And we're going to steal all the science. Right from Whitetail. To do this, we are going to need a rover, obviously. This flatbed is too big. Do we have any structural parts like it? I guess I could... nope. I guess I can't. Uh, can I tweak scale this? Cannot. That's kind of annoying because that's the kind of shape I want my rover to have. Okay, I'll work with this shape. Or I could work with. Where did they put the. There's some parts that give you like a tube in the octo format. I don't know where they put those. Is it in utility? Is it in payload? It is in payload. Interesting place to put it, but okay. I wonder if I can actually do this. Primary base. Oh boy. This is gonna be a fun looking rover. Put some solar panels like this. This bay doesn't have the ability to have the solar panels when you open them. It's a bit sad. Oops. Here we go. Need some batteries. We could slide some batteries in like this. Used it. Hmm. We're gonna need a lot of power for this. It's gonna get expensive and heavy soon. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the sciences that we can do on the surface. We obviously have the goo. Need the goo. I put the goo. Put the goo right there. Uh, no, I'm not. So I'm gonna put it right here. I'm only gonna bring one of those. Should I lie it? I'm gonna bring two of those. We can also do the thermometer. I only need one of those. A bit later, actually. The big one is the magnetometer boom. It's big, it's reusable, and I think I can use it on the surface per biome. Uh, unlock, retract. Construction. Uh, maybe it's just slightly smaller. Correct. Here we go. Boy. Look at that. It's perfect. Put a thermometer. Put a barometer. Put a one of these. Actually, I'm gonna put one of these in the explorer. Put some things over here, I guess. Um, atmospheric science unit. 
Oh, temperature and pressure. Ooh, this means I can put a, a row rover too. I have some epic missions ahead of me. Back to primary bays. That's all the science I can do in the surface right now with my technology. Ah, uh, cause... Yeah. Ooh, this works as an ore scanner. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Anyways, what was I going to do? I was going to... Need an antenna. That's not the antenna button. This is the antenna button. And once I have the antenna... Where should I put the antenna? Put it like this. It looked like a cute little dog. Not gonna do that. <laughs> In here, I'm going to need... The Bon Voyage Autopilot Controller Machine. This lets me drive without actually having to look at anything. Because all the rovers I design are awful at driving, actually. What else? Uh, I need... I want a light and a camera. So I want to be able to see what this rover is seeing, and so will probably everyone on Kerbin. Kerbin? Tops. Put it like... here... Put it somewhere. We're gonna... We have to put it somewhere. We're gonna put this in afterwards, actually. So why don't I just... No, not that. It's, uh... Put a thing here. Nope. No. Put a thing there. No. There. Stacking it like that. I have a little tube to build things off of in here. I do want it to look a little bit like an eye. Like a little rover. Having an eye. Yeah. That looks kind of silly. It looks like a smiley face. You squint really hard, now it's a frowny face. Spotlight. That's gonna be useful. Actually kinda terrifying. Um we should put this here. See, the issue is this rover looks kind of terrifying. I don't like that. You have to make this rover look happy and friendly and looks like it has a face. That's the most important thing to have in a rover is a friendly looking face. We have to have the most adorable looking rover ever. That's that's the that's the goal. If your rover isn't adorable, is it even a rover? Uh you know what? I should stop working on this rover. It's taking a lot of time. Uh this looks good. But it is what am I forgetting? 
We have all the science, we have electricity, we have long voyage, we have communications, camera, lights, wheels. Anything else I could put on this thing? If I'm not gonna remember anything, I'm not gonna put anything else on this. Uh yeah, let's let's uh let's okay, so good. What are we naming this? This is a big mission. This is a big mission. It's better than all the other ones. Uh, let me go look at my spreadsheets. What kind of cool names can I pick from? Call this one the... The, the nice. I call this one the granites. The... Daysight rover. The breccia rover. The claystone rover. And call it Tephrites. Tephrite one. In a program of rovers for the tough system. And now I have to land this. On on Whitetail. Switch editor. Where's it? Where'd it go? There it go. Here, we can fit in the frame better. But it's a coupler. Put a little spacer here. Space is too big, it's gonna tip over probably. As a, how heavy is this? It's about half a ton. It's a bit, it's quite a bit. I put some solar panels on this lander here. I could put like a surface relay on this. Hmm. What would I ever want to put on the surface just to leave there? Life supports? It'd be really funny if I have a mission that goes so wrong. I need to put a, I need to use life support for the failed rover mission. Well, something fails. We're gonna be successful. But you get my idea, right? It'd be really silly. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Lander engine, the terrier, of course. That can be enough thrust. Uh, I don't trust anything. It doesn't have a lot of thrust. And thrust we trust. Attractive. That's probably gonna tip up over. Tip, tip topple, tipple. Awful. Uh, and then, yeah. That's fine, I guess. Put this on one of these arrow shells. Oops. It's just gonna fit in there. We're gonna land this successfully. It's gonna be great. That's a lot of Delta V2. Probably use this lander for like basically not everything, but a lot from low tough orbit. I'm going to assume a good safe amount to have is about nine kilometers per second right now. <clears throat> That's what we're gonna go with. Nine kilometers per second of Delta V in total. Um, alright, there's the three skill fuel tank bug.
That's not a lot of thrust, but luckily there are boosters for that. With four of them on. Are they on correctly? Sure. Now we're going to want to do get some things going. This should take us there. Uh, it's not a lot of Delta V actually. I need these boosters larger. It definitely cranks up the Delta V for sure. Uh, and it also makes it too big for the pad. Has to be careful. Okay, that's, that's a good size. This will work, probably. The Tefrite one. Because this rocket rocks. It's... All right, so then save, launch, leave. That doesn't work, that's not that much taxpayer money down the drain, it's only like... Four... How many was that? It was less than a hundred grand, I know that. Missions aren't even to the point where they get expensive, I'm not sure why I'm that concerned about money. Eventually I'll be very concerned about money because... I need to make this upgrade at some point, but... Obviously it's not for some time. Is to the tracking station. Wait for the launch pad to finish reconditioning, and then we can launch our thing to Whitetail. Neon. I eventually want to go to Montiac too. I'm pretty sure it's just really big and heavy. That's our. Like, how big is this place? No atmosphere, front one six G. Oh, okay. So what's what's white tail then? Zero point one three. Okay. They're basically it's it's two months. Should be easy to land on. I'm thinking. We got this. We got this. We're doing this. It's gonna go great. Nothing's going to explode violently. The first landing on a non-atmospheric world is going to be an entire rover. I hope I can figure the Bon Voyage autopilot correctly. Uh, I didn't configure it at all actually, so I hope it's automatically configured correctly. This is going to be slightly painful. TZ race space. Going directly up with racing the space. Oh, there's there's a there's a road right there. There's is that is that Dantafar? Nope, it's must win. Okay. Whoa, don't tip that way. That's not the way you're supposed to tip. Good thing I caught that. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we can do some last minute science. No, I already got all the science from the situation. Only the primary base. It's not going to do anything. Um, I think I'm going to revert to launch this time. That definitely was just me being bad at flying. It's not mission design issue. It's 
smart ass has um oh, no I can't do that anymore. Okay. Well, let me go up, uh point that way, please. The cool thing about making your own music is that you never ever ever have to worry about royalty free music. Because you made it. Who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna sue you? Yourself? Um, uh oh. Why are you rolling? What are you doing, mechanical Jebediah? Uh what are you what's going on here? What seems to be the issue? Uh okay. Goodbye, boosters. Why aren't we turning up? There we go. Uh, we're high enough, up enough that we can do this. That's Whitetail right there, right? Or is that, uh, is that Montiac? That's Whitetail. Where's Montiac? Montiac's out there. Is it behind Ro? Uh, we are we need to point towards the horizon a bunch more right now. We can deploy that now. Alright, we, um, that's not a lot of thrust, is that? How much ease of acceleration? Oh, okay, we're fine. It's over one, actually. Should be good. I can never bring myself to trust low thrust landers for, like, one landing and stuff. Because I'm always really bad at judging when it's a good time to start a burn is. I guess I could use Kerbal Engineer to do, like, um, or slams, but it's um, sketchy and might be a bad idea because I don't trust those. Plus, it could be seen as cheating. Like, I have KOS, I could program my own hover slam thingy if I Google the math. But whatever, that's not for right now because right now we gotta finish getting to orbits of Tuft. So we can launch our rover to Whitetail. Bum bum bum. Ooh. Okay, we're in orbits. Nice good close orbits. Okay, that's a pretty good intercept there. Focus view. What's this orbit look like? Bad. Uh, we can fix it though. Uh, we can. We can fix it. There we go. You see, really close. I'm thinking. Oops. Whoa. What do I? am I gonna get down then? I think we have an inclination issue here. I guess I could try that. It's gonna be expensive. Okay, that's, that's good. 44 kilometers will do. What in the world is... Okay. To the next maneuver, we're gonna execute the maneuver and we're gonna get there. We're gonna capture and we're gonna have enough fuel to land on Whitetail. And we're gonna we're gonna have a rover, we're gonna have a Bon Voyage powered rover. We totally have the capability to go really far. San Antenna, there we go. 
We can go to every single biome because we scanned the biomes of that place. <clears throat> so we can go to all these biomes. We can steal all the science. This can be a-okay. And fix our little science problem by collecting more science. Probably, you're not turning fast enough, are we? Yeah, it's fine. We got this. That is, okay, interesting. I don't know why that big of a vehicle means you're driving down a road, but. Who knows, there's some crazy people here. How's our geometry looking? It's looking it's looking adequate, I suppose. I want to see what kind of encounter we get here. We're gonna get a... Ooh, okay. Uh... What's that? Uh, okay. Sure, we can work with that. Add a maneuver. Do the maneuver. That's a good circularization right there. We have tons of fuel left over. Oodles of fuel. We could probably do the same exact mission from Muntiak once we get it relay up there. Goodbye, Tuft. Goodbye, Roe. Hello, Whitetail. I thought we I thought we forgot the camera. I want to see what the what the surface looks like. It's very important to me. Where am I? Uh whoa. Okay. Is it science? Uh no experience available. Probably a mystery goofer. High above right tail. Thinking. This place looks absolutely scary from up here. You have to study all these interesting craters to figure out what's going on. Uh, is that circular? Uh, sure. How are we gonna land? We want to land somewhere where we have relay connection. Actually, no. We have... Yeah, really? 97% signal strength with one tiny communitron all the way out here. Okay, sure, whatever. Not gonna question it. Uh, so, I guess we just want to land in the day. I don't know about you, but I kind of want to land over here. <clears throat> I guess we could do a little bit of deorbiting. But, uh, control locked. Oh, right. That's why we have the relay. Once we get line of sight with it. Add a maneuver. Reform the maneuver. Make it go that way. That's a really interesting crater. That's there are all these humongous multi-ringed basins. But this one's the most interesting to me. Because why did that one, of all things, spread so much ejecta? Huge amount of ejecta. That means we have a lot of biomes really close together, because the ejecta is all like streak patterned. We get a lot of different places we can go to in a small area. Lots of biomes to, to, to science. Stout, oops, okay. How are we doing? Uh, sure. That's good for me. 
up to here, why not? Look at that. What's the surface look like? Oh, it looks like that. What do you know? Those cool screenshots will be able to take of the YouTube video and use the thumbnails next time. Uh, why don't we... really cool looking planet here. Not planet, moon. It's a moon, not a planet. What are we doing? Where are we? Uh, that right there. Is that it? Is that the crater we're going in? It's a bit different in the pictures. Um, surface. Is velocity minus? Look at all this delta v we have. We could even biome hop. So it's kind of useless since we have this thing. It's rover. Horizontal velocity minus. We're gonna land in the crater now. Yep. After we're getting kind of close, we should probably uh, cancel some velocity here. Probably above the surface. Played it um, quite a bit. Not enough for me to be safe. Horizontal speed. Hold on. Reverse velocity. Um, we'll do this. Did I wait too long? No, I didn't. We're fine. Oops, what? Oh, excuse me. What? Uh... Okay. Looks like we're going sideways now. I probably don't have very much control of this. I need more reaction wheels next time. I gotta remember that. Come on, you can do this. We're gonna land right there. We're gonna be on a slope. Gotta start burning. Verbal engineer's not helping. Where's my shadow? Do I even get a shadow? Did he turn shadows off for resources? Oh, I totally did, didn't I? Well, we're on a big slope now. Uh, no, now we're not. Now we're not on a big slope. I pranked you. <clears throat> Settings. Video and graphics. Shadow cascades. More. Apply. Oops. Zoom. Here we go. There's our shadow. Uh, we're gonna get closer. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, oh, please point up. Uh, now we can use search velocity minutes, I suppose. Okay, we're landed. Uh, good enough for me. Rotate, please. Yeah, brakes. Um, rotation? Uh, we broke a wheel. We broke both of our front wheels. I forgot they did that. Uh, I didn't do a quick save. Yes, I know we have cool sciences. Uh, or not? Are we... 
land it or not? Uh, can you... Uh, make up your mind. Uh, deploy all, deploy all, deploy all. Uh, why aren't we in space near Whitetail? Uh, excuse me? Deploy all? Here we go. Transmit. 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 Did I land on the far side? No, I landed on the near side. We're all good. We don't need no relay. So, uh, both of our wheels are broken. Because I didn't add any reaction wheels. So, I'm wondering. We can. Oh, I actually I need, I need that open. Um, we can. Why are we balancing like that? Trap the bay. Uh, turn that off. Roll. Run our wheels. Kill rotation. Kill rotation. Uh, off. Okay, we're all good now. Does Bon Voyage think we can drive? That's that's the million dollar question. Actually, first we should just try driving normally. Uh, put the brakes on. Ooh, we can drive. Oh. Who needs front wheels when you can have back wheels? It's rear wheel drive. <laughs> Whatever we think of next. Uh, what do you see? Uh, I put the camera on sideways, so we see some very silly things. Why didn't I think of that? I need to keep I keep putting the camera in weird orientation to make it look better on the on the actual probe. But it never actually looks good from the camera's point of view. Because we have all these this we can take a panorama. That's kinda cool, I guess. Okay, uh, enough fooling around, so we gotta start driving. Where to? I don't know. Off the brakes. Cause clearly this thing is operational, despite the two broken wheels from the rather rough landing, to say the least. Next time I'm gonna put some protection for those wheels or something. So we're currently in this big crater. Take a look at our Insat. Our bio map is nearly complete. It's complete enough for government work. This place has more biomes over here. So what we want to do is we're gonna open up our on voyage control panel. Um how do I add a waypoint? Um, ooh, this is a really cool looking place. Okay, right, waypoint selector. That one. The waypoint right there. Where's our waypoint? Um, is it only in a map view? No? Um, okay. Oh, I have to hit the set button. Uh, set. Where's our waypoint? Now oh, there it is. Uh, activate navigation. And then, bon voyage. Current waypoint. Route found. Go. Let's get out of here. Oh. 
Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay. So we have an operational rover and we can drive it manually. The issue is Bon Voyage needs two complete operational wheels to make this work. We can manually make this work. We can just do a little bit of driving around, you know? Unfortunately for us, that is 46 kilometers away. And this thing is kind of like an ice box, and it has very low top speed. Systems check. We have... okay. Uh, this is a little annoying. So where's the nearest place then? Because I... Deactivate navigation. Delete waypoints. You can't use that anymore. Where is the nearest? Where's the nearest place that's different biome to here? I think it's up here. Go north. Uh, this is going to be a difficult trek, to say the least. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this. Maybe I should send a different rover. We're going a bit fast. Are we... Uh, are we... Is this safe? Are we... Are we gonna... Gonna... Okay. I don't think I like this rover enough to try driving it. Oh, whoa. To try driving it all the way over there. But I won't. I simply won't. Plus, I'm pretty sure that was actually south. Nope, that was north. Okay. Um, we'll just leave that there. Uh, we'll mark that down as a partial success. Uh, and then we'll send another, I guess. Yeah, we got going on here. Uh, we should launch a second one. That's what we need to do. Actually, Montiac is going to have a higher science multiplier, isn't it? Because it's more distance. has slightly more gravity. I should focus my efforts there. Maybe I'll send another Tef right to Whitetail later. Uh, but I, I see I named the stream Exploring Whitetail. I should probably explore Whitetail. That's what I should do. So, Tiff Fight 2. It'll be the exact same, except it's gonna have. I'm gonna just do this. And we're gonna put this upright. Come on, you can do this. I'm just gonna shift it down so it looks like an eye. The rover is more cute. The most important thing about making a rover is whether it looks cute or not. I guess. Uh, that's gonna be upright, so we're gonna get good camera footage. We need to drive from the view of that. Just in case, I'm going to add on. One of these. But these have higher fields of view. Mega field rovers, I think. Half the little nose. Death right. 
two. Save, launch, leave. We're doing this. To the tracking station. Warp until complete. Looks like a clock. Got a fast hand and a, and a long hand. I wonder if this is how you could visualize like calendar systems. So by having these things as like clock hands, that's that'd be that's be interesting because like lines, hmm, that's really cool. I should consider trying that out at some point. Bad launch. I have, I have, okay, so after we explore Whitetail, our next, we've been overlooking the, the moon, uh, Puju for a little bit, should probably send something over there, maybe just a little simple scan set. Space now. That's a view and a half, if I did say so myself. Uh, if only we could get both the land and row in there. Well, I guess that works. Pretty cool. Now uh, we need to we need to start tipping. Oh nope 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 nope. Uh, ignore that happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. Trust me. Why do they have to measure sounds logarithmically and then divide it by 10 and then make the decibel the single most annoying unit to work with ever? Because if you just wanted pure logarithms, you'd go for the bell. But no, I have to divide it by 10 for some really weird shenanigans and you get the decibel. Which they measured sound linearly. That would be convenience for math. Uh, what? I think there is an issue. And that issue is tweak scale. Little foot flights. It's vehicle assembly. Because was that look of fuel engine ran out way sooner than it should have. So, I'm thinking. Yep. He activates, activates, dig. Uh oh. Gonna be. <sighs> Things I put up with. Probably a really simple fix to this bug, but it's always slightly annoying. Not like a big game breaking bug. You can always work around it. Oops. Oh, 
Are you not trick sealed properly either then? No, you're fine. Here we go. That should be good. Right? Question mark. I fight two. B. Because the first one was A and it exploded. Because it wasn't. Tweak skill happened. Why does it mean this mean? No, okay, these are these are scaled up properly. Typically, fuel tanks. Presumably with the whatever fuel tank editing mod I have. I should probably go away if I didn't beat your plan for when I need actual sized tanks. Leave. Watch leave. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I, I'm returned. Return. Uh, anyways, we got a launch pad already. Yeah, it is. Of course it is. Um, scrap the Tefrite two. Launch the Tefrite two B, or not two B? That's the question. All oh, right, we have science. I can unlock some science and figure out what to do next. I had a convenient um, hotkey to turn off the microphone because I don't think you'd like to eat me. I don't think you'd like to hear me eat saltines.
All right, we are now going upwards. We have the correct amount of fuel. I'm gonna need bigger fins soon. Aerodynamics is very important, and fair mirror space is not forgiven. You can go this way, actually. So we're just about in orbit right now. There we go. That's orbits. Now we're gonna send. Hmm. I could just go here. Make a tutorial radius, not a lot. So here was gravity, not a lot. Hmm. I could... I can't look too closely. Um, I could, I could, I could. Let's go to Montiac, but I think that one needs a relay. I think I'm on to Whitetail. It's gonna continue my normal plan and go to Whitetail. Because this is, first and foremost, a replacement mission for the last one, which didn't go well because I didn't do it cor 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 correctly. I'm so good at speaking. I think I'm going to be orbiting the wrong way, but I don't think that matters. On our way to Whitetail to send a replacement rover for the one that I broke the wheels on and then 
Therefore, Bon Voyage doesn't think it's rover worthy, I guess. Even though I could write it manually very well. Oops. That cannot be a problem. Oh, never mind. I'm just bad at this. Overburnt a bit. Oh, there we go. Close enough. We're gonna be orbiting the wrong way round, but I think that's fine actually. Oops, next maneuver, map mode. Uh, hi there, Whitetail. How are you doing? Okay. Now uh, we don't have any control. That is weird. Oh, I know why. Here we go. We go to this maneuver node and perform the maneuver node. Capture into orbit, land this silly rover, and this time it's going to work. We're not going to embarrassingly have a very hard time landing and break the wheels. We just land right here. Is that a good idea? We don't have sunlight. Uh, we have some sunlight if we go right here. What does the biome map look like? Biome map. Oh look, it's all complete now. I waited so embarrassingly long that the biomap is all done. Yeah, those are individual craters down there. With their own biomes? Question mark? Uh, no, intermediate basins. Well, still a biome I haven't gone to, might as well. Uh, retrograde. That's the Windows button, not the Z button. Uh, do I go down here? Nope, that's the wrong way. Here we go. Now we're gonna go down here. right over this actually so I should probably not do that I want to land down there this is a very inefficient landing but I have oodles of fuel left over inefficiencies are they're like they're just for funsies you know we're gonna be we're gonna be right over there Okay, how's our how's our landing doing? Should probably start burning soon. What? They're already broken? Um it's the fairing issue? I think it's the fairing issue. I think that's a... Uh, That's very stupid. Um, I'm landing all these heavy, clunky rovers and not being able to drive them anywhere. Hopefully this time this is going to be a, a flat fish area. Yeah, sure. Whatever.
And bam, we're on the surface. Um, open the bay. Let's play all. Transmit, transmit. So, unfortunately, these wheels are broken. So I can't bon voyage this thing. But, I have 1.4 kilometers per second of Delta V remaining. I can just hop to the other biomes. They're like, or all within good range. So let's take a look. Yeah, look at that. We just uh, hop here or there or there or there. Easy peasy. North. Um, okay. I guess this means we're going to be need to be relatively efficient with our fuel now, since we actually anticipate on using the fuel. Bam. That should be good. That should be good. Ooh, this is rough terrain. This is really rough terrain. Uh, we got a. We're over that biome now, right? North Pole Borisol Basin? What? I'll look at the biome map in a minute, but I think we're in a good place now. Cancel our horizontal velocity. Form a burn to make us not crash. Right about now, maybe? Or now? Uh, we're gonna need to go this way a bit to get on that flatter bit of terrain here. We are gonna be. What are you doing, trajectories? That's not land. Uh, then up, went up, and stay there. And we landed. Uh, deploy all. Bam. Transmits. Bam. Bam. Up into our magnetometer scan. Did it not... Did it upload it? We did, uh... <laughs> Big craters. Northern Basin. Now let's go take a look at this biomap once more. Where are we? We are in the green. We need to be in one of these other places. Ooh, right, I can make waypoints. The point selector. Bam. Set. Point selector. Bam. Set. And do that too. Set. Now we have our goals. Got to be landing on those waypoints. Pick one and go to it. Go to this one. Ooh, they're all they're all here now. That's useful. Pretty far for this one. Still in this area now, we gotta dip along a little bit. I target horizontal velocity minus. Battered surface. That's a new biome, so we're landing here.
Let's start landing, perhaps. Oops. way to use a rover, I'm thinking. Transmit, transmit, transmit. How's our electricity doing? Be better. I can just do that to make it better, though. What about... Let's delete these waypoints. Because we're currently in a pretty far away place. And we don't have a ton of fuel. Take a close look. What's nearby? This is our best bet for another biome. So we're going there. Maybe we can go to that yellow biome down there if I try really hard. But I can't guarantee I'll be able to land again if I do that. Let's add waypoints. Right there. Set. Bye. over there we're going to not make it sure there that looks good this is probably gonna be our final hop now we're gonna set this rover on its wheels and maybe do nothing with it Up, please here we go Bit more. Alright, let's keep going. And search velocity minus. Getting quite good at this targeted landing thing, actually. It's a lot of good practice. But we're not. Thermal open. Okay. Transmits. Bing, bing, boom. All done. Deploy. Now, I'm wondering if I can fix those wheels. Oops, sorry for the flickering. I don't know what's going on there. Or we can, like, G to fix those wheels, because that, that was most definitely a bug. Fix your purple parts. What do you know? There's a button for that. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Be careful. Control. I say it's on me. Off. Ability assist. Vroom, vroom, vroom. We get to drive. And it's actually going to work this time.
Why are we on voyage? System check. Uh, pick on map. Go there. Route found. Go. Alright. To the tracking station. I guess I could have done that from the very beginning, but back then I thought it was because of actual reasons and not a bug with the fairings. So, probably wouldn't have let myself. So, is our launch pad? Nope, okay. We still need time for the launch pad. Okay, this is ready. Uh, we, we are not in comms range. Let's wait until the relay is in a favorable position. Here we go. It works. Uh, why is it always so flickery? Science here and now. Deploy all. Bam, bam, bam. Then open the Bon Voyage controller. Click on map. Go to overlay bio map. And where's the nearest next biome? And this one. We haven't done this one. We also haven't done this one. Let's go here. Go. To the tracking station. This is going to be a little bit tedious, I'm thinking. Where you off to, buddy? Are you there yet? Are you there? Where's the bon voyage? There we go. Moving. Distance to target, not much more. Awaiting sunlight. That's actually pretty cool how it like does all this for you. control panel. Activate. Oops, not that one. Biome map. Where are we off to next? Uh, I think actually there's only no biome here. Up in there. Uh, there's no biome here. 
Oh. We just haven't put our thing there, have we? Okay. The only left is this red one and this blue one. Blue one's nearby. I go down south. Remember the South Pole? Take on map. Damn. Route found. Go. To the tracking station. Let's uh, let this run for a little bit. Um, bon voyage. Not the fastest rover. We get the job done. Waiting some light. You're there. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Get some science. This will be a full biome, all biome, all of them, grand tour of this place. Right? Because we've already gone to all of them. We will have just gone to all of them, at least. Oh, we're here. This is near the South Pole. If we can see any South Pole artifacts near here. Like polar spikes or polar pits. Maybe up here. Pretty far away, I don't think we'd be able to see it anyways. Uh, deploy all. Yep. Transmit. 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 Oh, there's some streaks here, but they aren't that visible here. Interesting. If it looks at an altimetry map, they'd be cooler looking. I don't know. But this uh, skilled space version looks a lot more detailed than this zoomed in version. Maybe because of how the terrain color is done. I don't know. Oh, I forgot. Lights on. We can, we can still drive this thing around. Not just a bon voyage rover. <laughs> Use our nav cam. This is a cool shoot. Shot. Shoot, view. I try to say view and shot at the same time, and I said uh, shoe. That's amazing. German's shoe. How fast are we going? We're at 10 meters per second. Jeez. It's pretty fast. To be clear, uh, yep, SAS is on. Got all these cool little thingies. Ooh, we know we drift. Uh oh, oh, we're uh, we're we're. Uh oh, what did that? What happened there? Uh, oh, okay. <sighs> no more lights or camera for us. Just action. All that's left is action. Let's stop doing that and, um, Bon Voyage somewhere, shall we? Bon Voyage control panel. Map view. Final map. Uh... 
already gone to the intermediate basins, I'm pretty sure. Already gone to the Nister Basin. This is the Wesitin Basin. This is like nor Northeaster, and this is like Western. This one is just called North Pole Borisal Basin. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, uh, let's, let's uh, click on the map. Go there. So, to the tracking. Oh, nope, I have to stop moving first. Oh, we can't do that, can we? Why not? Why can't we do that? Uh, what's going on here? Alt F12, input locks, clear input locks. There we go. I know an input lock bug when I see one. Ooh. This rover is so silly. No, it's not, no, it's not very cute. It just got like a red glowing dot, which um, ah, isn't even centered. How did I do that? How? Whatever, okay. To the tracking station. And once we get there, we'll do science, and that'll be that for the entirety of this entire rover. And we'll have a little bit of time to do other cool things if we want to. Oh, we have to wait for sunlight twice during this one trip. That's kind of icky. I probably should have planned that out better. All right, we're there. Last biome for this place that we happen to be visiting. Do some science. Play all. Bum, bum, bum. No, no comments. Okay, we wait for the we wait for the relay. Ooh, oops, I waited too long. I, I waited too long again. Uh, no. Okay, good. We did it this time. Transmit the data. Then now is a grand finale. I'm gonna do a thing. Okay. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a very silly thing. Hearts. Troll. Normal. I want to get some science from O space. So, we're going to do... Oh, there's no science to get anyways. Oh well. Funny little jump. Oh, this rover got around, you know? I just did that. We can do that one more time. 